the music, unfortunately. Um, yeah, yeah. How do you feel about that today? I tell you, I think they're trying to get my heart attack. <laughs> we go 1-0 um, up after one, two minutes. Um, look fairly comfortable. Um, and then we... You know, we give we give them we give them chances. The, the, the weather today, with the with the rain, the, the the kind of slope on the pitch down into the the, the left back corner in the first half, uh, and the horrible wind that was spinning. I think we've got to um, deal with the conditions a bit better um, and, and manage the game a lot better. But you know, we we um, we had more than enough chances to to win the game in the first half, and then and then obviously in the second half we've got more chances again and. And uh, going forward, I thought we looked we looked a real threat. Uh, and defensively, I thought we we could have done a bit better. But overall, in the conditions, away from home, I'm I'm quite happy. Yeah. Yeah, I think for the second goal, the our furthest player back was Jordan Crawford, um, where they you know they just got clean through. But their number nine up front was a, a real handful all afternoon. I think. Yeah, he was. He was. He, he, he played the line well and. Um, he, he, he played. He played in between. He played in between, and especially in the first half, where he, he got a bit of success. Um, and I, I felt that we were, we were maybe a bit too high, um, and, and we were giving him that opportunity. Where if we manage the game a bit better and, and understand where the, the, the wind's coming and where the slope and the pitch is, we could maybe have dropped 10 yards, 10, 15 yards, and and, and sat in, not sitting in defensively, but thinking about on the transition, dropping back in five, 10 yards than we normally would, um, because. That's sometimes what you have to do in the game. You have to, you know, we've, we've went five games, we're playing a good line and we're, we're, we're catching teams. But today, um, you've got to take into all the different factors. And I felt that maybe we had to drop 10, 15 yards, um, which we didn't do first half. And, and that's where they, they got a bit of success. Leon, again, we keep talking about Leon. He um, does pretty well, to be honest, as an understatement. Scores again today, led the line very well. Is he a player that you wish you could have all the time? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're in talks with Northampton Town at the minute to, to see where Leon's next move will be, um, whether we'll be extending it here or he'll, he'll be going elsewhere. So we're, we're having that chat with him at the minute and obviously if we can keep him here then I'll be absolutely delighted. Again, he, he, he runs the line well and he, he creates chance after chance after chance and he only gets the one goal today when he could have had three quite easily, um, which, which is a... You know he's he's in there and he's 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 kind of he's a bit he's a bit down. He's not scored them, but he's delighted now that the team's winning and he's part. He's a big part of that, um, and he's 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 really gelling with this squad uh, very well. And and yeah, obviously he's a player that I want to keep. Jordan pops up with a goal as well. Um, he went off. Was that through injury? No, we. I just felt that we. You know, we had obviously Crawford and uh, O'Brien and um, Leon in the attacking options, and I felt that trains can give us a different a different approach with the, the height and the strength um, and Ben Diamond was doing well down the right so it was it was either uh, Jordan Crawford or Leon and I felt just Leon's pace gives us something up there so it was it was it was a sacrifice for the team um, that he comes off so we can we can play a different kind of style um, and trains comes on and, and he, he gets the boy out of the way for, for the, 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 the free kick uh, moves the boy out of the way for, for Lesbo to find the bottom corner and so he's used that strength well um, but Crawford again had another good game and scores a goal which gets his back in it and the boy's a cracking player who we've now got on contract at the club because I, I, I think very highly of him Yeah he's got to be one of our most improved players I mean I was uh, doing some footage looking at it from a couple of years ago when he played in the youth team and that he laid on a goal that won the knockout cup and it's hard to believe that you know a few years down the line he's in the first team not only is he in the first team but I would imagine he's one of the first players on the team sheet at this moment in time. With his work rate and the, the, what, he, what he gives to the team and his attitude, yeah, you're, you're spot on. You know, he, he gives you so much on the ball and off the ball that he's a real excitement. Um, you know, he'll, he'll go and harass defenders and make them uh, make them into, uh, you know, make a mistake, make them do something they don't want to do. And then on the ball, he's got that trick, that jink, and, and he can find a goal as well. I think that's his third or fourth of the season. Um, which is which is excellent, you know. If we can get 10 to 15 goals a season off our wide players, uh, and then the strikers are, are chipping in with, with their their lot, then that, that's that's absolutely ideal. So the boy's doing really well, and I hope his career keeps kicking on. And Stephen Leslie, free kick again. 
He, <laughs> he really does strike a great ball, doesn't he, when he hits him? Yeah, he does. He does. He's got a fantastic left foot, and, and when we get into those positions, you know, Ben Bradshaw comes in and, and his great feet in the edge of the box and wins us the wins us the, the the free kick. And then Les Boy, you know, you've always got half a chance with the boy from those kind of areas. You know, his his um, his his technique on on his left side is is absolutely excellent, and it's it's something that that we we absolutely love to have at this kind of level because he you know he can stand out for things like that, which is which is great. Okay, Steve. Thank you very much. Cheers, Michael.